like this is a big thing. I'm in the train Oh, here I am! I'm fucking Godzilla! I'm fucking Godzilla! The swing down to Tokyo! Ha ah, ah. ha! Well, that's crazy. I, I mean, I think you can zoom and stuff later, but this is just a startup tour to show you different areas to make you see what it's like. But after a while, you can actually, like, grab stuff and zoom in and go way down onto street level. So I'll do that after a while, but for now, let's just take in the sights. Whoa! Holy crap, swing down there! Actually, I'm in the exact same place. That's so cool! Now I feel like 
1999 Godzilla. The Roland Emmerich Godzilla. Yeah, smash! Take that, society. Uh, the Hollywood sign has looked better. Come on, hop in. Oh, it's Hollywood, not Hollyweed. That's lame. <laughs> so, we're in, we're in LA. We're in California. Right beside the Hollywood sign. Let's stand up here. Stand up on top of this place. It's weird. I've been to LA three times now. I've never actually seen the Hollywood sign in person. I can't even fucking remember what part of LA I was in. I don't know LA well. Is that downtown? Oh, yeah, this is really hard to put into words. It's really hard to describe what this actually looks and feels like. Like everything is super blocky looking. Like nothing actually looks like a real building. It doesn't feel like you're in the real world walking around because you can see how crummy everything looks like. They don't look like trees and that kind of stuff. Whoa. And the last place we'll visit is Everest. Dude, you don't look so big from here. I don't know, everybody's always freaking out about it. I mean, you're tall, but you're not that tall. I'm taller. <laughs> God, there's nothing here. Stand at the top. Let's change the time of day. Whoa. Okay, now, now I'm slightly freaking out. Small bit. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Because I did that other Everest VR thing, remember? There wasn't a whole lot to it, but... Jeez, that's pretty tall as well. Are you sure you're the tallest? Are we sure this is actually Everest? I don't know, man. We might be getting fooled. Hello, Ben. How are you doing? You want to do something that makes you feel infinitely small? Oh, God. That's so fucking weird. It's like, you zoom way in. You see everything. That's actually impressive how fast that stuff all loads in and how quickly you can go in and out of stuff. But it's fucking cool. And it's like, you're not even at the human level yet. Like, I can't really go to the human level. Because you'd be way down there. Like, this thing is fucking massive. And then, you just pull, you pull way out. You, you pull way out, way out, and you just keep going. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh god, yeah. And then you do the super thing, which is this. And you go even further out. And then you realize that all of this fucking space, all everywhere, everybody that you have ever known and loved lives on this tiny little blue ball. Like everybody who has ever existed in history lives here. That's the fucking weirdest thing in all of this shit out here. I, I'm reluctant to like look around. All of this space is all just infinite. It's, it just fucking goes on and on and on and there's like most of it is nothing. It makes you feel like the tiniest, most insignificant piece of life ever. It's the fucking craziest thing. And all those like specks that you're seeing are all stars and stardust and they all have their own like myriad of planets and everything all around them. It's fucking bonkers. We're tiny. We're nothing. We just think we're something because we're like a big deal down here. We're like, oh, up there. We're fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, that was Google Earth VR. Hopefully that was at least somewhat fun to watch in some regard. I, I don't know. It's, it's super fun to do in VR and just go around and look at all the places in the world. But I don't know how fun it is to actually watch. And there's like millions of other places I could have gone in the game but are in the game. But I feel like I, I just wanted to show what the idea of it was. Um, let, me, let me know what you think, because I might go back and if you have funny places that I can go search, or if there's funny places in Google Earth that people have found that I can try and go find, then that might be a bit of fun. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show what it was actually like, the zooming in and going like, right down on top of stuff. And again, it's really hard to explain how it feels to be there and to see like all these houses that are like this, right in front of you, and you feel like a giant stomping around all these areas. Really, really bizarre. It makes you feel so super small in the, in the grand scale of things, but the, the sense of scale in this is immense. And I would love, like imagine a VR game with some of that, like that type of in and out, um, and just a whole planet's worth of stuff. Imagine that, but more defined. Imagine if someone spent the time to actually go in and model, like everything like that. It's uh, probably impossible to do. But like you were able to go down on the street level and actually like walk around and see other NPCs and everything, just walk around the cities and see all the buildings and walk around as a normal person, like anywhere on that. Like the, the potential for that would be insane. Like an open world, an actual open world RPG, it, the gameplay would probably suffer greatly for it, but I, I don't know. The idea of that is really exciting and really cool. And hopefully in the future, VR can get to a point that we can do stuff like that. We, we, well, we can't even do it in just a 3D game normally, let alone in VR, but imagine. I was actually legitimately freaking out at some point in that because it gets, there's a weird middle ground where it goes from like, oh, I'm standing on the ground now and fine, everything just looks super small. And that's not scary. Like, standing up super tall and looking down at all the buildings does not make you afraid of heights in a way, but zooming way out and seeing the entire planet with nothing underneath you, that's scary. Because you know that the ground is the planet and like your, your brain suddenly is like, oh, wait, I understand the scale of this. And then you're like, oh, God, no, I just, I just want to close my eyes and curl up into a ball and do nothing. Like, I would not do well in space. I don't know how people do that, how they go up in space and the EVA and they go outside in their spacesuits outside the space station and they look down at the Earth. That would freak me out. Not only would it just like make me scared of heights, I legit think I'd have a panic attack in that sort of situation. Because that's, that's beyond my mind's comprehension of what height and perception and depth and everything is. Being on top of a building is one thing. Being on top of all the buildings and all humanity and everything and seeing your entire planet in one view would freak me the fuck out. I think I'd have some sort of crisis. My brain would not be able to handle it. So, my props to the people who can do that. Like, I don't know, that's, that's just so bizarre to me. And when you zoom way out and then you see all of space and you see your entire planet just right there in front of you, like you could grab it with one hand, it starts to get really crazy. Um, and that's, that's the type of stuff that I don't think I can put into words when it comes to VR. It's something that you have to like experience for yourself and see for yourself before you can really grasp what the hell is going on. That goes for a lot of VR stuff, but when it comes to scale like that, I, I don't know, you kind of have to see it to believe it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, punch the like button in the face for your boss and my boys are up.
feel weird and jelly like now. Like I've been standing on top of a balloon for too long.